Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of my YouTube series, Hello World with Maya. As you guys know, um, I usually have my uh, Samsung Galaxy, which I record all my vlogs on. And as you guys know, I have lots of fancy music and fancy effects. This time though, I would like to emphasize something different because uh, this is a distinct video compared to everything else that I talk about. And as you guys know, I yeah, use my videos to raise autism awareness and autism acceptance, and I like to quote, marry the two terms and um, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media, share my experiences, um, tips and advice to those of you on the spectrum, and finally cover topics and things that I'm passionate about and the day in the life style now because of my hero Casey Neistat. Speaking of which, please be sure to click up he up here. I cannot do click up here. Sorry. Click up here in the upper right hand corner. This is a video by Casey Neistat. But what I'd like to do today is talk about something that happened yesterday because I'm a YouTuber and I you know, watch YouTube and I, uh, again, I do vlogs and I want to uh, raise autism awareness and I would love to go viral and I would love to uh, be really well known and make money doing this, but uh, that's beside the point. Um, yesterday there was a woman that got angry with YouTube because she evidently was trying to spread the word that she was being discriminated against and she became so angry that she went into the YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California, and she went in there and she shot four people. And luckily, it did not get beyond the four people, and none of those uh, involved in the shooting uh, died, they were injured. One of them got shot in the leg. Uh, one of them was skateboarding to try to get away. I think it was a software engineer, if I heard correctly. And they, were, they ran right into her and got shot. And I don't know about the other two, but I just heard that one of them had gone into a uh, fast food restaurant to get away from the shooter, and some of the other members of the YouTube headquarters saw her, and they helped her, they got napkins, they took off their shirt to keep her, and apply pressure and stop the bleeding. Uh, that's what I heard. The other thing I know, too, is that uh, before anything else could spiral downward and turn into another massive shooting like we had a month ago in uh, Parkland, Florida, or Parkland High School. Um, she was gunned down and she was shot dead by the uh, local authorities. So um, what I wanted to do was talk about that. Um, yes, I know that, that YouTube has a lot of new policies right now. There are a lot of people out there that are missing out on opportunities to get monetized. Like, I'm one of them because I don't have 1,000 subscribers. Um, there are just a lot of competition on people out there who uh, want to be famous, but they never really get there because there are 20 million people talking about the same topic. Well, you have to do something little bit differently. You have to talk about discrimination at a way different angle that nobody else is actually doing. And then there's just lots of other things. But that doesn't mean I'm going to get angry because my vlogs are not going viral right now. Um, rather, I'm going to do whatever I can, do my research to get attention and get people in that are interested. Even if I type in a topic and use keywords related to what I wrote about in the title that uh, may draw certain people in, um, I'm not going to get angry like this woman did. Um, we just we have so many people nowadays that are just so angry, and there's so many people nowadays that are handling it the wrong way. Like, this woman, she went all about her situation the wrong way, and she went and took it out on a group of people at, or at a headquarter building 
that really had nothing to do with how many views that she got. And I, I mean, if it was anybody's fault that she didn't get any views, it's probably the, the viewers that watch YouTube that probably ignored her one too many times. Or it's probably her fault that she didn't do enough research. Whatever it is. But going and losing your temper and shooting people because your videos are not at a million subscribers or a million viewers and going viral, that isn't a reason to go and hurt somebody. Um, if you're that angry, there are plenty of counselors. There are plenty of hotlines. There are plenty of, of crisis centers. And granted, I'm surprised that there weren't enough uh, crisis centers out there to help her. <laughs> so, I don't want to keep talking about this. I don't really know what to say, but um, for those of you that are struggling with uh, creating videos, just keep on, keep at it. I mean, I've been at this for four years, and it took me this long to get up to 155 subscribers. So, if I'm still plugging away, you can too. And remember, uh, the purpose of YouTube is what Casey Neistat talks about. Do what you can't. And even if you don't get viewers on YouTube, share with social media. Share with your friends on Facebook. Share with your friends on Vine. Share with your friends on Snapchat. And also find pictures related to your vlogs and put them onto Instagram and hashtag in YouTube and tag in YouTube. Do whatever you need to. Just keep on sharing and sharing. I mean, hey, you also have the opportunity to pay YouTube money so that you can draw in more viewers. And also, I recently decided to make myself some business cards with my channel art on. So, whatever you do, just don't give up. And if you get angry, again, call a crisis center. If you get angry, back away. Um, like one of my uh, my heroes, uh, acquaintances, uh, Temple Grandin always talks about, switch from anger to cry, or listen to a guided meditation, whatever it is. So anyway, whatever it is, don't ever get up. So anyway, if you like what I'm doing, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, also be sure to comment below. I'd like to hear from you. Uh, sorry about the quality of this video. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off.